we're finally doing it, bitch. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there real quick. I'm really excited to be filming this video today. I popped on Instagram stories a few weeks ago and said that I was thinking about doing a video based around all the books that I've read that have my favorite alpha males. So that's what we're gonna do today, hun. We're gonna go through all the books that I love that have my favorite alpha male characters in it. And we're gonna just, we're just gonna fucking talk about them. They need a moment. I think my biggest weakness when I read romance is if the book has an alpha male in it. I don't know what it is about an alpha male. I just am attracted to and enjoy reading a man that knows what he wants, a man that is dominant. Some alpha males in certain books do come across a little bit more like a bully, uh, which isn't my favorite. I'm gonna admit, bully romances, I'm not really a fan of. There is going to be a bully romance in this video that I'm going to recommend. Um, and that character who's an alpha male in the book is one of my favorites, which is surprising. But it's the only one. I don't really talk about bully romances too much. I can do enemies to lovers, but just not the whole bully, like, that's a bit much for me. Anyway. We're gonna talk about some sexy men of all ages and we're gonna fucking live our best lives. So let's get this fucking show on the damn road. My favorite alpha males also can be classified as like my favorite book boyfriends too. Not all of them, but most of these uh, characters I'm mentioning from these books today, I definitely would fuck. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. If they were real, I would definitely be like, hey, go on, hun. All right, so the first book we're gonna be talking about today is Deviant. King by Rhea Kent. So this is a recent read for me. I posted on my Facebook group, Mary Sick Twisted Bitches, that I was looking into reading this. And all of you that are a part of the group said that I need to fucking read it because I fall in love with it. It is a series. I believe there's like six books. I've only read three. So this girl moves to a new high school. It's her first day at the new school and she captures the eye of Aiden, who is a very popular, very well-known boy that attends this school. He approaches her, grabs her by her throat, and tells her that he's gonna destroy her life. So this is a bully romance, so if you're not into bully romances, I wouldn't suggest this. But the reason why I have to put this video in it is because Aiden, who is the main hero in this book, is one of the most mega alphas I have ever come across in my entire life. He is intense. He is a bully bad boy alpha on another fucking level. Honestly, he fucks with this girl so bad. He's like, my way or the highway, hunt. I run shit. I run this school. He is steam worthy, okay? He is going to get you fluttering on another fucking level. My next book I'm gonna recommend is The Silver Swan by Ammo Jones. Now, I've already recommended this book before and this whole series, the Elite Kings Club series, is one of my favorite book series I've ever fucking read. The Silver Swan starts off kind of similar to Deviant King and they kind of have similar plots both the series. Madison moves to a new school because Oh, she's grieving her mother and her father has found new love after her mother has killed herself and she ends up walking into the school attending her first day and she makes eye contact with Bishop who is a part of the Elite Kings Club and Bishop is sitting with his whole posse behind him. Bishop is intense. He is definitely an alpha. He's the type of dude that it's like, if you don't do it my way, I'm going to physically make you do it my way. But he's also very protective and very possessive. He is a hunger spunk. I'm sorry. If he was real, I'd be like, Bishop, come around, hun. Sort me out. I've been a bad girl. Him and Madison have one of the most, like, frustrating fucking relationships I've ever come across in my entire life. You know, that's the thing with romance. That's what draws you in. You want them to be together. You want your couples, your favorite couples to be together, but they're just not getting their shit together. So you keep reading, you know what I mean? It sucks you in. Emma is very well known for writing the alpha males that she does. She does them very unique and very different. Uh, she's She is the queen of alphas. I'm sorry, I'm saying it right now. And I can proudly say that. Out of all the books I've read, she creates a new alpha that is different to the other, but still has like similar aspects to one another. And yeah, I love Bishop. I love Bishop. And I cannot wait for Brantley's book. If you know, if you've read, you know, you know, you know all about Brand Brand and I just want him. The next book I'm going to recommend is Bound by Honor by Cora Riley. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I love it so much. Again, this is part of a series, but this particular book I'm mentioning because of the alpha that I met in this book. So this is about 
Aria. Her dad is involved with the mafia in Chicago, the Chicago outfit, and her father arranges a marriage between Aria and Luca. Now, Luca is the son of the mob boss in New York, and they kind of uh, arrange this marriage for a truce because New York and Chicago have been at each other's throats for so long. So if you're someone that enjoys mafia romances or a romance that's just got a little bit more to it than just the relationship, this is a really good option. Luca is everything and more. Everything and more. I don't even know how to describe him. He is so alpha, like so possessive. He's one of the most possessive characters I've ever come across, but in a good way. You know what I mean? In a good way. The thought of someone being with Arya makes him want to kill people, but he's not afraid to kind of flaunt her, show her off, you know, um, appreciate her beauty. But, you know, people can look, but they can't touch. He is ruthless in the bedroom, and Arya is a mob princess, a virgin mob princess that has no experience when it comes to sex. And obviously, Luca is a very attractive, wealthy mafia man, so he gets pussy, and a lot of it. So he, he has to dominate Arya and uh, teach her his ways, and it's, it's hot. It's so hot. One of my favorite books, and I love the series. The Born in Blood series is amazing. If you haven't heard me speak about it, I don't know where you've been, because I talk about the Born in Blood series all the time. Then we've got Twisted Pride from Cora Riley. So this is a, another series. This is a part of the Kimura Chronicles, which is a spin-off to the Born in Blood. But I wanted to recommend this book, which is Twisted Pride. Uh, I believe this is the fourth book in the series. You can read this as a standalone. You don't need to read the whole series, but I suggest you do, because it's phenomenal. Twisted Pride is a controversial book for Cora because it involves kidnapping. So Remo, who is the capo of the Las Vegas Camorra Mafia, abducts and kidnaps Serafina, who is the niece of Dante. Dante is the capo of the Chicago outfit. They're at war right now. And Remo's whole plan is to destroy his niece, break her. Like, I mean, Remo ain't a nice guy, okay? He wants to, like, break this bitch, send her back home, and that will be, like, him announcing that he's won the war. What fucks Remo in the end is Serafina isn't what he was expecting. Serafina was meant to be, like, this dainty, blonde... 18 year old little mob princess that you know couldn't couldn't fight for herself and would just like cry and break but the bitch is built with pride and she doesn't back down to Remo even though he petrifies her she challenges him consistently every time Remo gives Serafina an option she takes the one that he least expects and it really shocks him so he keeps her captive and <sighs> they fall for each other but it's like very different, okay? It's a very different love. Remo's personality is very unique. He is a bad man. Like, there's no doubt about it. He's not a good person. He's a bad, bad man. But when it comes to his family and the people that he loves, he is so, like, loving and caring and possessive and protective. And he is just a an alpha. He's an alpha among wolves, definitely. He runs the mafia like no other boss does. He is ruthless with these decisions. He, you know, just handles shit. He handles it. And he's very intimidating. Even when you read him, like, I've never met the man. He's a character, you know what I mean? But when you read Remo, you're like, whoa, man. If I ever met a man like you, I would be shaking in my boots because you're not only just fucking sexy as, you're fucking petrifying. So this is a recent read as well, and oh my fucking god, I loved this book, but there's one specific character that I wanna mention in this video for the whole alpha aspect. So this is Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight. I've never read anything from K.A. Knight before. This was my first read. This book's fucking huge. Goes forever, it's like 800 pages, but it's so worth it. This is a reverse harem book. It's about this girl who, gets kind of like sold to the mafia to pay off a debt from her father. The group of men who pretty much are like the head honchos of the mafia go and collect her, move her into their apartment and uh, keep her captive. But it's not, it's not what you think. Like they're not actually really bad to her. Uh, they're, 
you know, they just say to her, like, we can't really let you go because it'll look bad on us. So you just kind of have to live here. Do you need anything? Like, well, here's our credit card. Like, go shopping or something. Like, they're not, they're not mean to her and they don't plan on, like, ruining her and breaking her. Um... As I said, it's a reverse harem. So she ends up in a relationship with every single one of them. And sometimes there's scenes where they're all doing it. And it's something fucking different. There's heavy, heavy, heavy knife play sex in this book. So if you're someone that's into the whole blood kink, knife kink, knife sex, wounds and shit in the middle of banging. There's one scene in this book that I was like, oh, shit. It was full on Full on, but it was sexy as. Anyway, the head honcho, the big boss of this mafia is Ryder. And he is an alpha. Hun, he is more than an alpha. He runs the mafia. He takes care of the rest of the crew. He takes care of her. And I just love the fact that he was like possessive and protective of her. But he also allowed his loved ones in on that connection. He never got jealous of like his brothers having sexual relations with this woman. Um... Yeah, you have to read it to understand what I'm saying about Ryder. He's definitely one of a kind. Yeah, he's definitely more of a, like he's brutal. Like he'll roll up sleeves and slit throats, but he's more like, he's so composed on the outside and he lets everyone else do the dirty work, but inside he's like raging, but he like suppresses that because he needs to handle his business. You know what I mean? And he needs to take control and be that alpha. Oh, he is everything. He is everything. I'm not really into reverse harem books, to be honest. But this one was this one was something different. And the sex, oh my god, oh my god. And the heroine in this book, fuck, she is a boss ass bitch. And I literally was sitting there reading this book like because I was finally reading a heroine that I was like, yes, we need a boss ass bitch. We need a bad ass bitch. Fuck all these virgins, these little crybaby girls. This bitch got kidnapped, pretty much, by four different mafia dudes and fell in love with all of them and handled them. Like, they all dropped to their fucking knees and kissed her toes. Like, ah, oh, yes, I love that queen. Uh, I could not, could not do an alpha-based recommendation video without mentioning Zeus from Welcome to the Dark Side. If you, if you like age gaps, and you love yourself a daddy. Zeus is where it's at. <clears throat> this man is everything and more. He is everything and more. I'm in love with Zeus. I think about him quite often. If you were real, I'd have to give you a text. Like, we'd have to catch up. We'd have to hang out sometime. So, Welcome to the Dark Side is about Lou and Zeus. Lou is 17 years old. Zeus is 38. Zeus is the president of the Fallen Motorcycle Club. Ooh. So obviously to be a president to a motorcycle club, uh, you have to be an alpha. Like you run a crew, mate. You run the game. You run the show. You've got to have authority over the people that are under you. Zeus is definitely intense. He is, he is very intense, but he also has this like Oh my god, this beautiful side to him. Zeus has a beautiful heart. But the one thing about this book that I loved with his character is it didn't come out sappy, if you know what I mean. Like he didn't, he had really heartfelt moments with Lou. Um, and I was like, oh, that touched my heart. But he wasn't like, oh my god, baby, I love you. Like, no, he kept his manhood, you know what I mean? And he just let this woman know. Like, you're my world, and I will protect you and love you forever. Um, obviously, this book is controversial as well, because Lou's 17, and uh, Zeus is 38. Um, and there's a scene in this book where they bang at her fucking high school cheerleading thing. But it's hot, okay? It's hot. Don't try and tell me a man on a motorbike coming to you at, while you're fucking cheerleading and fucking sneaks you around under the fucking chairs that people are sitting under and bends you the fuck over, wouldn't turn you the fuck on. Don't try and tell me that. Don't try and tell me it wouldn't, because it would. You're lying to yourself if you don't think this book is attractive. You're lying. The sex, Gianna gets real steamy. I'm sorry, as an author. She comes up with some real steam shit, and I'm like, woof, hun. What are you trying to do? Give me an orgasm via words, because you're, you're fucking, you're getting there. You're really going there. Okay, next up, we've got Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, which is one of my favorite books ever. This is from the Devil's Night series. Oh, I love it so much. I read this ages ago, so it's really hard to remember. 
but I just remember Michael, who is the alpha and the main hero in this book. Oh my god, he is mean. He is mean. So this book kind of starts off in the future, and throughout the book, you go back and forth between the now and the past. So shit went down back when they were teens between Michael and the heroine in this book, and she did something that got all his friends locked up in prison for a couple of years. They all get out of prison and they all meet up with Michael and they plan to destroy her and ruin her life the way that she ruined theirs. And yeah, Michael is a basketball player, which is just sexy as fuck, I'm sorry. Anyone that plays basketball, fucking come here with your, with your tall bodies and your big hands. They all have that alpha aspect, but Michael definitely is the alpha of them as well, um, not just the heroine. And yeah, it shines out throughout the book that he runs the show and he is so good with her. Like it, there's definitely some throat grabbing and some like dominant behavior when they have sex in this book. Gets me going. All right, so that's all for my favorite alpha males. I actually have a lot more. So I could probably do a part two to this. I just didn't want to do like a super long video today. So I thought I'd just recommend the main alphas that I think about quite often and you know, love so much. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs it up, hun. You know what to fucking do. Do not leave before subscribing. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more from me. Don't forget there's a comment box down below. So if you want to have a chat or you want to let me know what you want to see next go down there. All the links to my social media platforms will be down in the description box, as well as my book club. Come and join. We have a lot of fun over there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.